Hi, this is Wesley from Power Armor Division. This is part two video on electronics for the Enclave suit. So, to do a recap, originally I showed my helmet, which is a Mark II helm, and I was working on the mechanics and electronics for my helm. So, here we are. Just a recap, I'm using the Arduino Uno board microcontroller with miniature SD cards and wireless relays, which are right here. A micro Arduino board, and these will control my suit's electronics. So, what I was working on was a way how to make the eyes light up. And I'll begin the process of prototyping it. So, right now, I'm starting on working out all the electronics. And then once I do that, I'll start prototyping and programming the board so that I can make everything work. So I just have everything here is just basic hard wired up, nothing soldered right now, just to make sure everything works. And what I was working on was how to get the eyes to light up. And so, as you can see, what I have here is this fabric, which I use to diffuse the LED lights. Now this idea is an original to me because I got it from James from X Robot UK and I replicated a lot of stuff that he did on his build. And this is a very similar, but this isn't, you know, he did an Iron Man, this is an Enclave. But I pretty much took the stuff I learned from his video to make mine. So feel free if you want to take the stuff that I have here and make your own. I would be more than thrilled if you did that because I want people to look at my videos and try to replicate stuff that can help them make their own stuff. But at any rate, what I have here is my LED lights that light up and also to I'm um, testing the fan. Now this fan is going to go into the helm and it will provide my primary fresh air source for my helmet. It will be controlled by the microcontroller via wireless relay. So, I'm going to show you how everything works so far, what I have mocked up. It's being powered by a 9.6 battery. Here's my breadboard that I'm working on, just my little prototype board. I have a switch and I have the fan and the lights. So, when I press the switch, you can see the fan lights the way the fan comes on and it lights up and these are the eyes that are illuminated this is a pair of gargles that I bought from Amazon and I put the LEDs on them so that I could make it where that everything would light up and as you can see I have a nice lit effect the eyes are illuminated you see this side has LEDs, this side doesn't. Um, everything has been diffused so it shines pretty, pretty good. The problem that I had with this was it took me a while to figure out how to get it where that I could make everything light up. Because as you can see this wire mesh is what's being illuminated because as the 3D lights shine on it, it's diffusing the light, making it glow. And quite honestly, it looks pretty cool. I like having these little honeycomb patterns. To me, it looks a lot like the halo um, eyes when they light up, kind of like what Agent Locke had. I really like the way that looks, so... Just to show it off again, when I cut that on, wait, 
There we go. Everything is lit up. So, I think that's really cool. I will put maybe a not will put I know I'm I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to put a power regulator voltage not power regulator. I am going to put a voltage regulator so I can step the voltage down to about 3.5 maybe 6 volts at the most I'm putting too many volts and too much wattage through these LED lights because they're heating up and getting hot and since this stuff is just only put on and held in place with hot glue I don't want to have it hot enough for it to melt it so what the voltage of this battery will be once I put the voltage regulator on it will be the same as these three batteries here these three um, C batteries and that way I don't have to worry about it getting too hot and I have the fan in here like I said it keeps everything nice and cool keeps the inside from fogging up and keep it from getting too hot in there and when I'm wearing my mask, I don't have to worry about overheating. And I will be able to control all of the suit's electronics via my custom-made pilt board, which I've showed before in previous videos. So, this video hopefully will, will help you say that you got an enclave or any type of helmet that requires curve um, lenses that are not just curve in one direction this I'll show you how to, exactly how to do that and you can use this for your helm to make it work so this has been Wesley for Power Armor Division and I'll see you next week